Hello boys and girls. During this episode, I'm going to teach you how to tune your instrument with an app called Bandmate Chromatic Tuner. Don't worry, if you don't know how to spell it, here it is. Let's take a look at the Bandmate Chromatic Tuner. So go ahead and go to your phone or tablet and download this free tuning app. This tuning app will help you tune any instrument. You'll see in a minute I'll show you the menu. It has a variety of um, tuning modes for different instruments. Um, the six that we're going to talk about today will be your violin, cello, flute, clarinet, trumpet, and trombone. So this is both available for the Apple devices and Android device. The only thing, the only device this tuning app does not work on will be a computer or a laptop. So this means it will work on your phone and it will work on your tablets. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Now, go ahead and hit pause at this point if you need to download the um, app and uh, continue the video. Please make sure that you play this entire video before you start tuning because some of the things I'm about to say will be very important and you have to listen to it first before trying to tune your instrument. If you do not, especially for the string instruments, you run a risk of breaking your string. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the violins. Now, by now, you know that your violin and cello has four strings. Now, specifically the violin, this tiny string, we call that string one, and then string two, three, and four right there. String one is called E, string two is A, string three is D, and string four is G. So let's go ahead and take a look here at our display. So if you do not remember, here it is. String one is E, string two is A, string three is called D string, and string four is called G string. You will need to know all these things because in a minute when you have the tuner app on, you need to look for these precise locations. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're, I'm going to assume that you've gone ahead and downloaded the app and the app is going to open and it's going to come up with a menu to ask you to choose what instrument you are tuning. So for us right now, we're going to tune the violin. So I'm going to click on the violin and you can see it also says violin up here on the top. Now, for all strings, so this includes the cello and the violin, when you are tuning your pegs to get tighter, to make the sound go higher, you will need to turn the peg this way, so that way, away from you. And in order to loosen the peg, you will need to turn it this way, that's this way, okay? But be very careful when you do tune, when you do turn your pegs, you have to turn them very, very slowly, tiny little bit of turn. If you turn a lot, you run the risk of breaking the strings if you're going tighter. Now, always only tune one string at a time. Do not, do not loosen all the string at the same time because what's going to happen is the bridge will fall off if you loosen all your strings at the same time. Remember from our previous episode, your bridge is kept on here by the pressure of the string pressing down on the bridge. So be very aware of that, please. In fact, I think it's a great idea if you watch and re-watch this video with your parents, if they are going to help you to try to tune this. So make sure you watch it with them and maybe explain it to them. Okay, I'm going to kind of show you what happens right here. So I'm going to tune this G string right here, G string. 
let's see what happens if I turn the peg, but I don't push the peg in at the same time. Watch what happens. Look at this. Oh, look, my string is just, it's just loose now. It's, oh boy, it's kind of hanging off of the bridge now. So that means I didn't push the pegs in. It's not holding the tension. So as you're tightening, you also need to push the peg in like this. So I'm pushing as I'm turning. Okay, and I'm going to listen to see if my G string is correct, if it's where it's supposed to be. If my G string is where it's supposed to be, I will see it on the tuning app, it's going to be below the second line. One, two, the second line. It's going to be right below the second line. So let's go ahead and take a look at my tuning app right here. So if I pluck it, it's so low, it's not even quite coming up right now. So I need to go a little tighter. So I'm pushing, I'm turning just a little bit. And that little indicator, it's telling me that I am at a G right now. So that's the correct letter. I'm looking for G because string four, string four right here is supposed to be G. But it's on negative side, so that means it's a little loose, so I need to make it a little tighter. I want to try to get my pointer all the way in the middle, so I'm going to go a little tighter, and I'm going to try again. Okay. Now, I'm about the right place. It's kind of green in the middle, so that tells me I'm in the right place. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at over here. Do you see that? Two little lines. One, two, it's below the second little line. And on the phone or on um, whatever um, device you're going to download, it's also saying that it is a G. So that means you're good with that string. That string is good to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next string right here. This next string, if you remember, the third string is called the D string. We're going to be using that one a lot this year. So D string. So that is, sorry about that. That is right here, D string. D string is below this first line right here. Below the first line, that's the D string right there. And it should say the letter D as well. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to pluck this D string now. You can see I'm at a D right now. Okay. But it is, the string is a little, it's a little too loose. It's not in the middle. It's in a negative side. So I'm going to tighten it just a little bit. Remember, I'm going to turn and push in at the same time. Oh boy, I think I did it too much because now the indicator is past the middle point and it's over here on the positive side. So now I'm going to loosen it just a little bit. And remember, you're going to press in at the same time. So let's see, where am I now? I'm getting a little closer now. So it's not as high, but it's coming down a little bit. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and use my fine tuner. Do you remember the parts? This is part of your homework. You're supposed to memorize the parts of your instrument. These are called fine tuners. So that's the fine tuner for string one, two, three, and four. If you have a fine tuner, you can use the fine tuner. And some of them, they will not have a fine tuner. Then you will have to just use the peg to adjust to as close as you can get. Okay. If you do have a fine tuner, so I'm going to do this now. If I turn it towards the right side, that's righty tighty. And if I go left, it's lefty loosey. So, 
So this is a little too tight right now. It's going on the positive side. I, I need to be in the middle. So I'm going to turn my fine tuner towards the left. Just a little bit. And I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to keep turning. I'm going to keep turning. So it's getting closer. Every time I'm doing that, it's getting closer. So right there, that's pretty good. It doesn't have to be exactly in the middle, but if you're anywhere close to the middle, that would be great. So this is my fourth string, my G string. See, it's G and then D. Now I'm going to go to my second string right now. So my second string is called the A string. So right here, A string. A string, it's supposed to be on space one, two, space two, right here on space two. So I'm going to hit A string and see what happens. So here's my A string. Here I go. There you go. I'm at A right now. Let's say, for example, you're not at A. So I'm going to loosen my own purpose just to show you. So I pluck my A string and oh boy, it says A flat, A flat. So A flat is different from A. So A flat, or if you touch this right here, it's going to say G sharp. So G sharp is not A. And you can also tell right here, this note, the sound that you're currently at is on the second line. One, two is on the second line. So the second line, if you take a look over here, line one, two, that's below where A needs to be. So you know you're too low. So you will need to tighten your string a little bit to get up to where that A is. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, tighten that just a little bit. So I'm going to turn and push in. So here I go. See, just a little. That was just a little movement. So not quite there yet. So I'm going to do it again. Little adjustment. Okay, so I'm getting higher now. Very good. So if I go even tighter. Oh, there you go. I'm in, I have good luck right there. So that's A. I'm pretty close to the center. So that's good enough. So that's really, really good. Okay. All right. Our next one, our next string that we're going to try to adjust is the E string right there. E string. String number one. That's the E string. This is usually the string that breaks a lot on the violin because it's so small and so tiny. When people turn their pegs too much, it breaks. So you want to be careful with this one. Okay. So here we go. So there you go. So I'm, I'm in luck. So this is E. Okay. But let's pretend by the way, this is the peg for E, right? So you just follow the string up, you'll see where it goes. So that is the peg for E. So I'm going to loosen it on purpose. Okay. Just to show you, I'm going to pretend I am not in tune right now. Yep. See, it's not E. It's not E. So you see this note is, it's, they call it a C sharp. And that's not where E is supposed to be because E is supposed to be on space number one, two, three, four. Basically between these top two lines right now. And I'm at a C sharp. C sharp is down here. So that means I am too loose. So I need to make my string a little bit tighter. Okay. So here we go. So I'm going to tighten it just a little bit. Remember, this is the one that breaks a lot. So look at how small. You see that? That was a very small movement. Okay. Very good. I've moved up to a D now. So I'm getting a little bit closer. So I am on D. If you, if you see it, I'm on the fourth line, fourth line. And that's right here. One, two, three, four. I'm on the fourth line. That means I'm really close. I'm moving up 
and getting close to that E right there. Okay, so I am going to tighten it just a little bit more. Again, it's really small movement. Hey, look at that. D, I'm getting D. I'm on the high side of D. So I'm going to keep tightening it a little bit more. I'm still at D, but I'm at a D sharp now, so I'm getting higher. I'm going to go a little bit higher, remember, always to twist and push in at the same time. Oh, I'm getting really high. If I can go past this, I'll get an E. Hey, there's E right there. Let's take a look again. There you go. All right. And I can use my fine tuner if I have one. Look at that. There you go. I'm at an E right there. So to go back and to double check everybody, your fourth string is supposed to say a G and then a D, a A, and then an E. So here we go. Let's double check to see if we're correct or not. So here's G. Good. I'm a little bit flat. I can go a little bit tighter. So on the G string, I'm going to go a little tighter. Always make sure you're adjusting the peg, the correct one, okay? Because sometimes you'll think you're adjusting the right one and then you're actually touching the wrong one. So here we go. G. Oh, look, that's pretty close. Okay, let's go to D string now. D, that's pretty good. A, that's still pretty good. And E, E string. So there you go. My instrument is tuned. And you'll find that after the first time you tune your string instrument, it's going to stay very, very close. And the next time that you have to tune will pretty much stay within that area. Okay? So don't forget, twist. If you go twist, if you twist tighter, you have to also push in. If you go looser, you'll have to also push in. If you do not push in, the, the string's tension will pull the peg and everything will become loose. Also, something else for you to be aware of, once in a while, check your bridge, okay? Because your bridge, it's supposed to stay perpendicular, okay? Perpendicular means not parallel, opposite. So notice the violin is going this way and the bridge is going this way. So always check your bridge. Sometimes as you're tightening, your bridge will start leaning against this way. So that means it's going to fall. So you want to be very careful of that. And what I usually do is I carefully grab this because look, look at how thin this little piece is right here. It's got two little holes. The whole entire thing is just on this piece of wood. So if you just grab the bottom or the top, you will break the bridge. So I support it, I grab it, and then I just kind of move it a little bit. So you want to be careful of that. All right, so that was for our violin. So now we're going to go ahead and kind of quickly talk about the cello. The cello is going to function very, very much the same, pretty much. So just to start with, we're going to go ahead and go to our app. We're going to switch to cello right there. So now it says cello right here, everybody. Okay. So here I go. Let me place my, uh, my phone right here so you can see. And then I'm going to grab my cello in a minute. So there you go. So here is my cello right here. So the same idea with cellos. Okay. Now with cello, so remember this will be string one, two, three, and four. Four is always the thickest, the biggest string, and string one is the thinnest string, okay? And let's go ahead and also move this aside real quick for us. So here we go. Let's move this aside. There we go. So there's our cello. Our cello, our fourth string, is called a C string. Third string is called a G. Second string is called a D string and the first string is called the A string. So first string is the thinnest one that we just talked about. So let's talk, let's take a look at this. Your fourth string, if you're tuned correctly, it's supposed to have one, 
two little line and it's right in the middle of that second little line right there. So we're going to take a look at our tuning app right there. I'm going to pluck our C string. Hey, look at that. Let's do it again. Notice that it's two little lines and it will go away as soon as I start talking. Do you see that? It's two little lines on the bottom and it says C, so that's correct. Now I'm going to go to my third string now. If you remember, third string is called the G string. Right there, that is G. And then our third string, uh, I'm sorry, our second string is our D string. There you go, there's D string and A, here we go. And it says A, okay? Remember, it has to say the letter. So if it has any extra little little symbols, like the, the, well, you guys, at your age, you guys will call it like the hashtag, right? But we call it the sharp, okay? In music, we call it sharp. So watch this. Look at that. That says A sharp right there. You see that? So that's not really in tune. So A sharp, so sharp, sharp means too tight. So I need to loosen it a little bit. So I'm going to take my my A peg, I'm going to loosen it, but as I loosen it, I'm going to push it in. Remember, you have to push it in. If you don't push in, it's going to slip. All right, it says A, but it's on the high side, so I need to try to get it to the middle, as much to the middle as I can. Let's try it again. There you go. That's A right there, pretty much in the middle. I like that one. Okay, and then... See that D right there? That's a D, but it's not towards the middle, okay? So I'm going to tighten the D peg just a little bit. Small movement, remember, very small, tiny movement, okay? Much like the violin, okay? If you get really, really close, and if you have a, a fine tuner right here on the bottom, so if you have a fine tuner, you can use it righty-tighty lefty loosey. So I'm going to loosen it just a little bit and then I'm going to try it again. So D. Ooh, look at that. Right there. Right on the money. Okay. It's green right there. Here, I'll show you. There you go. It's right there. That's pretty good. Okay. And then there's our G. Oh, our G is a little... It seems like a little bit loose, so I'm going to tighten it just a little bit, okay? So I'm going to follow my G string up. And... Okay, so a little bit too tight now, so I'm going to loosen it with my fine tuner. Oh, it's come down a little bit. There you go, all right? Now remember the fine tuners, don't over tighten them or don't over loosen them. If you over loosen them, the knobs will actually fall off. So then you have to readjust them, okay? So then you have to turn them back in. So basically, the pegs are used for bigger adjustments. The fine tuner, it's called fine tuner. Fine means little tiny movements. It does little adjustments for you, okay? So that's what it does. So you don't want to take the fine tuner and go tight all the way because you want to do most of your adjustments here. All right. So one more time. Let's take a look. That's where everything is supposed to be. Okay. C string right there. Two little lines. G string is the line on the bottom. D string is the line in the middle. One, two, three, the third line, that's where D is. And A string is the line all the way up on top over here. So you look at what notes you got, much like what we just saw with the violin. You try to get up to that spot, okay? So that is the tuning for our cello. So next, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna demonstrate to you, here, let me go ahead and I'm going to put my cello down, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate um, 
the tuning for the flute, okay? So here we go. Let's see. There you go, and let me go over to our flute right here. So here we go, and where's our flute? Ah, I went too far. There we go. There is our flute. So with flute, it kind of really does not matter which note, okay, that you're going to tune with. It's all going to be the same. There you go. There, it says flute. So only look at this middle section right here. This is for the flute right there. So, and it's okay if you don't know how to play these notes yet, you will in the future. But let's just say, for example, you know how to play the letter F, which I will teach you, okay? So don't worry, I will teach you in another lesson. So you go to your tuning app, you select flute. Make sure it's the right setting. So in case you didn't see it, flute, you go, to, you go there and flute is right there. Make sure it says flute on the top right there, okay? So I'm going to play the letter F. So remember, it doesn't matter which one you play, you'll be able to tell. So I'll show you. So I'm just going to use F as an example. So if I play F, it's supposed to be on line number one, two, three, four, five on the top. So let's see what we're going to get. So here we go. Okay, we're going to play F. That's pretty darn close, so that's very, very good, okay? I'm going to show you what my camera, my overhead camera kind of sees. So we're just going to do that right now. So here we go. Here's my flute. Usually you would take your head joint, you would attach it, and then you push all the way in, right? Well, if you do that, sometimes, depending on your flute, okay, and the temperature of the day and how you're feeling, you might not be exactly right on. So let's take a look. Now that I push the head joint all the way in, I'm going to play F again and let's see what happens. That's still an F, but do you see how it's so high up here? So it's too high. I'm going to try to get it back down. In order to get it back down, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my head joint and I'm going to pull it out just a little bit. Watch how small I pull it out by. Do you see that? It's very small. So I pull it apart, pull it out just a little bit. And I'm going to try playing F again. So if it's correct, F is supposed to be on the top line. And this will say F here. Still a little bit too sharp. So that means too high up. So I'm going to lower the sound by pulling it out a little more. Let's see if that does the job. Here we go. Hey, there you go. So I'm kind of in the green in that area. And once you've done that, leave the head joint alone. Leave, leave it where it is and play the rest of the day like that. So that's about where it should be. And after a while, you will kind of know about how far to put your head joint. Okay? So here we go. Next one we're going to show you is the clarinet. So we're going to go to the menu and we're going to go to clarinet right there. There's the clarinet. Here we go. Okay, so let me show you the clarinet right here. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and go over a little bit. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. So the clarinet and the trumpet are, they, they share the exact same notes. So you will see these notes. Okay, so Maybe you can tune with C right there. So if you hit C correctly, you're supposed to see that little tiny line right there and the note is right in the center and it should say C. So not C sharp, not C flat. Flat, I will show you in a minute. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we go. Let's go with the clarinet right here, okay? So for the clarinet, Remember, your embouchure is supposed to be a little tighter. If it's not tight, then you will, uh, you'll see how it's going to be off. 
So I'm going to play letter C right now. Okay, so I'm almost in the middle and sometimes it's up high. So I'll do it again. So it's a little bit on the high side. I can lower it just like the flute by taking my barrel and pulling it apart just a little bit. Just a little bit. There you go. I only pulled it apart a little bit. Like this little. Here, let me show you right here. You see that little tiny little gap right there? I pulled it apart just by a little bit. And I'm going to play C again. Do you see how it dropped? So I think I pulled it out too much. So if I pulled it out too much, now I'm going to push it back in just a little bit. Just like that. Okay? Let's try that again. So I'm playing C. Look at that. It's perfect. It's green. Okay. Also, here we go. I'm going to show you what happens if your embouchure is not tight. So if I loosen my embouchure, you'll see that the C will start dropping into the negative. So watch this. Do you see how that's not even a C? It became a B at a certain point when my embouchure is too loose. So you have to tighten up your embouchure. There you go. So now your clarinet is tuned and ready to go. So let me go ahead and show you the trumpet. So here is my trumpet right here. Okay. We have to go to our menu. We have to select trumpet. So there you go. There's trumpet right there. Okay. And remember like before, like the clarinet, if you hit your C correctly, it should have this little tiny line with the note in the middle and you should say, it should say C. It won't say C sharp, okay? And it's not gonna say C flat either. So I will show you. So here we go. So C is no fingers. You literally just blow into the instrument. You see how it's right there in the middle, okay? If I loosen my embouchure, let's see what happens. Watch this. Did you see that? The sound just dropped and the letter started changing. It didn't stay on C anymore. And also if I tighten my embouchure too much, it's going to go way up high like this. See, that's, that wasn't a C, that was a G actually, okay? So you will control the sound by using your embouchure by going smiling more or smiling a little less. In fact, this can be a challenge for you guys. This could be a game. Try to see if you can keep the pointer at letter C and in the middle. So it's like a game. If it's too tight, it's going to go up. If it's too loose, it's going to go down. So positive and negative right there. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch over to our trombone right now. So once again, we go to our menu. We go to uh, trombone, which is right above trumpet. So there you go. So it's going to say trombone right there. Okay. And let's show you on this screen right here, the trombone. So here we go. I'm going to move this up. There you go. There's our trombone. And you can start with a letter called B flat. Okay. B flat is going to be slide number one. So don't worry if you don't know this right now. Um, we'll cover this in class. So not to worry about that. But I'm just going to show you right now. So here we go. Here's B flat. There we go. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot. For the trombones, take the switch, flick it up. So you need to go into the flat mode right here, okay? So B flat, so you need to switch to flat. Otherwise, you will always get A sharp. See, is it A sharp? So go to the flat mode. C 
see right there, I, my pointer, my little indicator is on the green in the middle and it's saying B flat. B flat is the one, it looks like a lowercase b. So some kids, they call it BB, okay? But it's actually called B flat. Okay, if my embouchure is too loose or too tight, you're gonna see my indicator start moving all over the place and the letter might change. Watch this, I'm gonna go loose. Do you see how the letter change is not B flat anymore? Let's see what happens if I go too tight, okay? So it's not a B flat anymore. It turned into some other letters. So you'll want to make sure, trombones, your B flat is on line one, two. It's on line number two, right there. So line two. If it's up here, that means your embouchure, your shape of your lips are too tight. If it's too low, that means, well, your embouchure is too loose, so you need to tighten up a little bit. All right, and boys and girls, that is how you tune with the Bandmate Chromatic Tuner app. Completely free on Apple and Google Store. Go get it, it will help you. So good luck. Have fun playing your instrument, tune it every time you play, and string instruments, please be really careful. Little tiny adjustments, not big ones. And have fun, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!